Have you ever been stuck not knowing how to handle your car battery safely? It's a common predicament that can lead to some serious problems. Mishandling a car battery is not just a minor inconvenience, it can be dangerous. Sulfuric acid burns, explosive gases, sounds scary, doesn't it? These are real risks when dealing with car batteries. But don't worry, this video aims to provide a solution to these problems, teaching you how to safely disconnect and reconnect your car battery. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more useful car tutorials. Before diving into the process, let's talk about the safety precautions you need to take. First and foremost, ensure you're working in a well-ventilated area. This allows potentially harmful gases to disperse safely. Next, suit up in protective gear. Safety gloves guard your hands against acid. Got bling? It's time to take it off. Rings, bracelets, or any other metal jewelry can conduct electricity and pose a risk. Double check that your car is off and the keys are out of the ignition. We don't want any unexpected surprises, do we? Lastly, if there's even a hint of doubt clouding your mind, it's best to seek professional help. There's no shame in asking for assistance, especially when it comes to something as vital as your car battery. Remember, safety first. It's better to be safe than sorry. Now that we've covered safety, let's move on to the tools you'll need and the steps to disconnect your car battery. First, let's talk about the tools. You'll need a wrench, a battery terminal puller, and a wire brush. The wrench is for loosening and tightening the battery terminals. If the terminals are a bit stubborn, that's where the battery terminal puller comes in handy. And the wire brush, it's your go-to for cleaning any corrosion off the terminals. Now let's get down to the steps. Start by popping open the hood of your car and locating the battery. Spot the positive and negative terminals. Remember, the positive terminal usually has a red plastic cap, while the negative terminal may sport a black one. Next, grab your wrench and loosen the bolt on the negative terminal. No need to remove it entirely, just loosen it enough to wiggle the terminal off. Be careful that your tools don't touch any other part of the car to prevent short circuits. Once that's done, wiggle off the negative terminal. If it's stuck, bring in the battery terminal puller. Secure the negative cable to the side to prevent any accidental contact with the battery. Repeat the process with the positive terminal. Loosen, wiggle off, and secure to the side. With these steps, you can safely disconnect your car battery. But once you've disconnected your battery and completed your maintenance work, you'll need to reconnect it. Let's go through that process. Start by reattaching the positive terminal, the one with the red cap. Position it over the battery post and push it down firmly. Then using your wrench, tighten the bolt until it's snug. Remember, over-tightening can damage the battery, so a firm but gentle touch is key. Next, to repeat the process with the negative terminal, the one with the black cap, again, push it down firmly on the battery post and tighten the bolt. Once both terminals are secure, give them a wiggle to make sure they're properly attached. Reconnecting a car battery is not a complicated task, but it does require careful attention to detail. Remember, safety should always be your priority. If you're ever unsure, seek professional help. Subscribe to Honest Mechanic Colorado for more auto insights. Stay safe on the road.